Hello mga students, welcome back. We have a new set of topic to discuss here. And this is about service cost allocation. Now, before tayo dumiretso dito sa, sa computation and the explanation of the solution, let me just explain to you para saan ba yung service cost allocation. Now, of course, ano, uh, alam naman natin na yung production area, yung manufacturing, let's say in the our case here, ano, meron tayong um, assembly and finishing which are your producing departments. However, no, although nandoon yung operations, may mga support yan, no? May mga other parts, no? Other departments that back ups, no? Box up or back up. Ano nga yung tamang English doon? Back ups or box up. <laughs> Anyway, ang tinutukoy ko dito is dapat merong ibang mga, yung ibang mga departments, they exist to support the other departments. O kagaya nito, we have here a service de department, yung cafeteria at saka yung maintenance. Ito, mga service, ano lang ito, no? service departments that serves the other departments. O cafeteria, kainan, ng iba't ibang mga departments. O hindi yan pwedeng pang maintenance lang ha. Hindi yan pang assembly lang, hindi yan pang finishing yan. Kinikater po nito lahat ng mga empleyado, ano? O maintenance, tagaayos, no? In case may mga sira, halimbawa yung ating mga machineries. O they maintain our maintain the workable condition, working condition ng ating mga makinarya. So these are service departments. So they exist to assist our operating departments or our producing departments. So dahil po, no, with, uh, they are necessary as part of our ano, no, producing departments and without them, medyo mapipilay yung ating mga ano, no, operating segments, yung ating mga production segments. No, kinakailangan na yung mga cost nitong mga service departments ay ia-allocate natin. And dito, meron tayong pag-uusapan na tatlong method of allocating service department costs. Okay, so we are treating them, the cost of these departments as overhead cost. Kasi syempre, hindi naman po ito direct sa production. Okay? Now, dito, sa video lecture na ito, pag-uusapan lamang po natin yung tinatawag natin na direct method. At yung direct method, ito yung pinakasimple sa kanilang tatlo. Okay? Papaano ba pag direct method? O, kung ano yung cost nung nasa mga service departments, i-allocate lamang po natin siya doon sa mga producing departments, sa mga operating departments based on some defined uh, basis of allocation. Now, para maintindihan po ninyo ito, para magets natin, basahin muna natin yung problem. So, this is about mahogany manufacturing company na according dito sa ating illustration ay merong apat na departamento. Dalawa producing departments, dalawa service departments. Yung producing departments natin, okay? O same lang assembly and finishing, no? Samantalang yung two service departments natin, si cafeteria at saka si maintenance. Now, Ano ang sinasabi dito? And I don't know if you can read this ano, kung malinaw from your end or baka kasi yung iba sa inyo malabo yung mata. O, pero babasahin ko na lang para masundan ng iba. The overhead cost of cafeteria daw, yung mga overhead cost daw nito, is allocated based on the number of employees. O, usually, well, common for cafeterias, number of employees. Ilan ba yung pinapakain mo coming from that department? No? While overhead cost naman na tong maintenance ay nakabase sa estimated factory overhead. Okay? So meron tayong ibang ano dito na basis. Now, si assembly department, ang ginagamit po nito ay direct labor hours. Okay? When computing or getting the predetermined overhead rates. Samantalang si finishing department naman, ang ginagamit niya ay machine hours. Yun nga lang, before computing for the overhead rate, nitong si assembly at saka nitong si finishing, dapat i-incorporate natin yung allocated cost no? coming from the service department, kay cafeteria at kay maintenance. So yun lamang po ano, ang magpapakomplicate ng konti dito sa ating 
problem. However, it is not really that complicated. Pag nasundan po ninyo, well, makikita talaga ninyo, ah, madali lang siya. Now, ito po yung ating solusyon. Yung solusyon na walang formula, eh, hindi siya formula driven, screenshot lang. So, to aid you in understanding this solution, I have the guide here na pwede po ninyong makita saan ko pinagpipick up itong mga amounts. It's either formula-based or amounts coming dito sa ating information. Well, which is definitely manggagaling talaga dyan. Kasi hindi naman pwedeng imbentuhin po yan. Okay? O, tignan ninyo. Ano, dito muna natin. Ipaliwanag ko muna itong pinaka-original solusyon. Kasi kung makikita ninyo, yung estimated department overhead cost o department wide ito no kasi meron tayong department overhead costs 250 150 100,000 and 60,000 o yung cafeteria cost yung 250,000 is zero out natin ito ita transfer or i-allocate natin kay assembly at saka kay finishing kung makikita po ninyo 15 over 25 at saka 10 over 25 yung proportion o papaliwanag ko mamaya kung saan galing ito. Pero sa ngayon, maaring masundan nyo na ito. Medyo pinaiksi kasi itong 15 over 25 at 10 over 25. Kasi ang ating cafeteria cost, ang basis natin ng allocation is based on employee. Uh, number of employees. Ay, sorry. Oh, hindi pala siya ano, naka-excel. <laughs> so eto yon na nasa baba. 1, 5 and 1. O oh, 15 and 10. 25. Kaya ito yon 15 and 25 and 10 and 25. Instead na binuo pa yung 1,500, 1,000. Eh, kinansel out na lang yung dalawang zero sa dulo. Okay? Para mas maiksi na lang. So, yun lamang po ang basis nito. Okay? For maintenance cost naman, base kasi ito saan? Sa estimated factory overhead. Eh, magkano ba yung ating estimated overhead? Kay assembly, 100K. Kay finishing 100K, edi 100 plus 60, 160. Okay? Edi 10 over 16, 6 over 16. Kaya eto, makikita naman ninyo. Tapos saan natin ito minumultiply? Dito naman sa 150,000 para ma-zero out ito. So ang konsepto nito is i-allocate natin yung overhead cost from the service department papunta dun sa mga producing And after allocating it, mag-zero na yung overhead natin doon sa mga service department. Kaya pagka-allocate natin ng 250,000, nil, nada na, wala na itong laman. Same with your maintenance. Okay? And then, pinag-a-add natin ito, tapos divide natin doon sa, ano yan? Ano itong 200 at saka 250,000? Babalikan natin yung problem. Okay? Kasi ang sinasabi dito, Si assembly department daw gumagamit ng direct labor hours. Oh, i-trace ninyo etong 200,000. Saan niyo yan makikita? Pag-add mo pa ba yan? Ito yung 200,000 na dito. Unless may panggulo diyan na pag inad ninyo 200k. So medyo mako-confuse kayo pag hindi kayo sure. Alin nga ito? Okay? But here, please take note because the assembly department ang ginagamit ng cost driver ay direct labor hours. So, eto yon Estimated DLH, 200. But please take note, hindi po natin pinagaad. Magkahiwalay po siya. Kagaya ng doon sa ating department departmental rate, di ba? Magkahiwalay po yung ating computation. Hindi natin tinutotal. Only for that particular department. Kaya nga, etong 343,750 natin, dinivide natin sa 200,000. Kasi yun lang yung relevant information. Wala akong pakialam sa 100,000 kasi kay finishing ka. At hindi ko naman yan kailangan sa pagdedetermine ko ng overhead rate. Pagdating naman kay finishing, o saan galing itong 250,000? Ito naman yon Okay? Kasi ano ang cost driver ni finishing? Based on machine hours. So therefore, ito lang yung relevant sa akin, itong 250,000. Wala akong pakialam doon sa 150,000 nasusundan o kaya pag tinignan po ninyo ito although medyo magkahabaan ano hindi tayo na ground off dito ng how many decimals no pero 343,750 divided by 200,000 o 
O ang ating manufacturing overhead ay 1.71875. Gawin na lang natin 2 decimal places. O 1.72. Ni-round off na natin yung 875. Kay finishing naman, 216,250 divided by 250,000 o 0.865. 2 decimals na lang, no? 0.87. Okay? So, ito yung magiging guide po ninyo para may proper na um, traces kung sakali man na hindi ninyo masundan ito kung saan galing. Pero once again, kung may Excel naman kayo at pag chinect ninyo yung mga formula, masusundan at masusundan po ninyo yan. Okay? So, yan. Yan po, ano? Service cost allocation, applying a direct method. Maliwanag. Kung hindi po yan maliwanag, subukan po ninyong i-rewind, i-replay. Kung hindi pa rin, ask your classmates if you want to. Pero better, no? Kung tatanungin po ninyo ako. Para hindi na kayo umikot-ikot pa ng question and answer portion. Okay? Sige. So hanggang dito muna tayo sa video lecture natin on service cost allocation using direct method. Pag-usapan natin sa susunod na video lecture naman yung step method. Okay? But until then, I'll see you around. Bye!